The last time we were here in Grand Cayman was no less than seven years ago. This was during our first cruise together. Today we are back and we are going to be touring a turtle and wildlife place. All of that and more after this. Hello fellow travelers! Hello! It's Neil here. And I'm Kimberly. And this is To Travel, Travel and Tour. Tour. So this excursion is a guided tour and as you can see we have uh, quite a large group today. I tell you what, those are some big turtles swimming around here. Look at that. Well look at this fellow here. Hello there. Coming up to say hi. Hello. Now uh, the guy told us that the turtles you see swimming around over there in the back they're about uh, 15 to 17 years old so they're quite young still now this turtle here has been uh, swimming alongside the edge beautiful animal it's nice that these turtles are swimming by so close because that way you can get a really good view of them it's remarkable how different their shields are oh look here's a whole group each one of them definitely has a different kind of shield. Beautiful. Well, the guided part was relatively quick. It was more like an orientation. Um, we learned some information about the turtles, and now we're free to explore. And our tour does include lunch. So we'll be doing that around 11 o'clock. Well, look at these fellows. They're like babies. Look at this one. Yeah, you can touch them first. Very uh, curious fellow from what it looks like. And now it's time for a real fun part. We'll actually get to stand in the basin there with the turtles and touch them. There are some guidelines, however, for touching the turtles. So you're supposed to only apply a two-finger touch when interacting with the turtles. And what you're certainly not supposed to do is pick one up or squeeze them. I do like that they take good care of the turtle safety. Well, here we go. Water is uh, crisp, but not terribly cold for sure. Let's see, hello there fellows. Never uh, touched a turtle before. Its shell kind of feels... It does feel hard, obviously, because it's a shell. But it doesn't feel like rock hard. I've noticed that they uh, seem to be very keen on swimming alongside the edges continuously. Look at this fellow. Just brushing past my leg. You don't necessarily have to get into the wading pool in order to uh, be able to touch the turtle. This little fellow here is very easy going. Oh, look at it. Now, it is remarkable how their shield might be very hard, but right here, their neck, for instance, is way softer than that. It's remarkable. All right, Kimberly, you wanna say hi? Oops. Very easy going fellow. Uh, you might be able to see the turtle over there. They sure do like to hide. Oh, Kimberly is getting the hang of it now. <laughs> Our excursion does include lunch, like I said, and this is where we will be having lunch, the Schooner's Bar and Grill. Hang in there because there's more to see here. We have yet to explore the Predator Reef and the Aviary. Well, I think I know what we will get to see here at the Predator Reef. Oh, look at that. There's some big, big fish swimming around in here. Those must be the sharks. So snorkeling is available here if you are a snorkel enthusiast. And uh, I can already tell there is uh, several kinds of fish to be seen in here. So that might definitely be interesting. The park certainly does look nice. Now over there in the back you can see uh, a water slide. So there is also a regular pool available for you if you just feel like swimming. This is really neat. You may have noticed uh, the bridge we were just crossing over uh, the waters holding all those large fish and some of the turtles. Well, if you continue that way, you make a right and you go down a little bit. That's where you get to see this area here. You can actually uh, take a look below the surface of those waters. So now here there is a sign of what residence the predator reef holds. So you get the nurse shark, there's the snapper, the horse eye jack. The Bermuda chop, the tarpon, 
And the great Barracuda. Here comes a big fellow over on my left. Kind of, uh, kind of seems to be like patrolling the area almost. There's a whole group coming over there. And at the bottom, and on the turtle. I tell you what, the view from here is really amazing. Look at that fellow. <laughs> Climbing up to the surface. Nice. And now we're gonna have lunch. So the way the lunch works at this turtle and wildlife excursion is you will get a couple of tickets, well that is if you are with two people, and you hand them in right over in the back where Kimberly just came from. And then you will get to pick between these foods here. So there is a choice of barbecue chicken, coleslaw, plantain, fish and rice. And you can pick any desired combination. Kimberly got us some drinks and some uh, fruit punch available. Looks like uh, Kimberly did the same thing I did. Just get a little bit of everything. to get a good idea of what this lunch is like. I need a fork. And guess what I grabbed you on my way. I know, I saw you get them, that's why I get my own. I'm gonna start, I think, with the barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken first for Kimberly, okay. I think this is a piece of a thigh. All right. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, it has bones in it. But it's not white meat either. I'm no. gonna taste it though. How is it? Very nice. Very nice? Good. You're gonna like this. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely a meal thing. Excellent. Oh! Kimberly just tasted something else that she seems to really no, like. No, it's the chicken. I oh, got, still the chicken. <laughs> I got a kick of spice. Oh. <laughs> just like... Oh! <laughs> now, I'm gonna taste this coleslaw. This looks like it might be more of a, like a vinegar-based coleslaw rather than a mayonnaise-based coleslaw. So... Is it? No! Then what is it? If you look at this, there's not like a whole lot of dressing or anything on here. But it sure tastes like there is. It's good. This is the rice and beans. You're pretty much gonna get that. On any of the island destinations, you're gonna see rice and beans. Yeah, that is quite prevalent that, in the Caribbean. Now, I think that this fish was going to be crispy, but it is not. So we'll see how we uh, like it. It's not crispy? No. That surprises me. Yeah, me too. But let's see how it tastes. Ultimately, that is what matters the most. <laughs> well, if the look is anything to go by, it uh, has to be good regardless. It is quite good. I'm surprised. Because, you know, I like... I mean, if I'm gonna have fried fish, I want it crispy. Okay, their plantains are done very nicely too. I don't know about you, but if you, I mean, have you ever had plantains that were so hard you couldn't even chew them? Like they're like more like a chip than, I don't know, but this is nice. You know, the funny thing is, I don't know if the consistency I like them at is the right consistency that they're supposed to be, and that I only like them when they're done wrong. If you know anything about plantains, please leave it in the comments. If this is the way I should like them, <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Well, we got one more thing left to taste, Kimberly, and that would be uh, the fruit punch over there. I do not believe it has alcohol in it. It doesn't say that it does, I'm assuming it doesn't. And considering how many kids with lunch, I think they'd be very cautious. Yeah, like exactly. Okay, so Kimberly is convinced that I'm going to uh, like the barbecue chicken, so of course I have to put that to the test. There it goes. Yeah, she called that one. Oh, that's really good actually. Wait. Mm. Exactly. It actually. The more you chew it, the spicier it gets. Yeah! It isn't like ridiculously spicy. Well, Ben Kimberly also seemed quite enthusiastic about the fish. So I'm gonna have to sample that too. Let's see. Yeah, not bad. Plantain. 
It's a plantain, can go wrong. Now I am usually not one for mayo, not really. I can eat it, typically not my preference, but I can eat it. So Kimberly mentioned about how the coleslaw is actually not really that vinegary based, but it does come with the dressing. Let's see what I think. Okay, so I do pick up on some vinegar, not overpowered, but some and it's actually not that bad the uh, the amount of dressing is i'm not even sure if it is mayo based or not there might be some dressing involved but i don't really taste mayo in it so that's a good thing and lastly the rice like kimberly said this rice like any other you will find across the caribbean so while I'm eating lunch here, I did get some company here, as you can tell. A very nice cat. Isn't really interested in me, is obviously more interested in the food that I have, but tolerates me petting it. All right, let's make our way to the aviary. So we've now come upon the aviary part of this turtle and wildlife park. So uh, let's see what there is to see here. There's some of the, one of the birds. Yeah, look at that. Some of the birds are definitely uh, up for some food. Well, that one is really easy to spot with its yellow color. The birds in this aviary uh, do not appear to be overly afraid. They seem quite used to humans. Ah, then those would be parrots. Two of them right there, clearly having lunch. Notably more signs here at the aviary than there is throughout the rest of the park. And looks like birds are not the only inhabitants of the aviary. Those are some nice sized fish. That's what I thought, those are koi. Now you may wonder what ends up happening to all the animals that get bred here. Because, you know, if they were to keep them, then the park would get overcrowded really quickly. Well, they just release them into the wilds. This turtle and wildlife park also features a caiman butterfly house, but alas, it is temporarily closed for maintenance. I would like to go back to the main area because I want to see the hatchling house. Oh, okay, we can do that. Yeah. All right. So there it is, the education center and hatchery. Let's see what's inside. Look at this guys, all these little tiny baby turtles. Is that awesome or what? And I do believe that all those styrofoam boxes over there contain eggs. I remember our guide mentioning that. Alongside the walls you will find uh, a lot of information about all the inhabitants of this park. Not bad to step uh, inside this hatchery, however within a few minutes odds are that you'll be back out again. If you don't feel like doing much of anything here at this park, you can uh, always opt to just chill at this little beach. Now, if you're going to Grand Cayman between June and November, mind you, you will be going through hurricane season. So uh, yeah, torrential downpour like this might very well happen. Lastly, on this excursion, there is a gift shop. So if you like getting a few knickknacks from this turtle and wildlife center, this is where you can get it. The Cayman Turtle Center is a great experience for anyone really that loves animals yes. and wants more knowledge about them. If you enjoy different excursions and want to learn more about different excursions in the Caribbean, you might want to check out this playlist. That's right. We will see you on the next vlog.